Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Google Drive folder on Razorpay payment. So as an online educator, I am using Razorpay in order to collect the payments for my course as well as course material. Currently, I am selling an ebook for digital marketing with the help of Razorpay and my objective is that as soon as I am going to receive the payment by the student for that same ebook through Razorpay, automatically the folder of that ebook from my Google Drive should be shared to that student. Now, to automate this entire process, I will have to set up the connection between Razorpay and my Google Drive. Now to automate the process, we are not going to use any kind of coding and programming skills. We are going to set up this connection with the help of Pabli Connect that is an amazing automation and integration software. So for your business, if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video, we are going to learn step by step that how we can automatically share folders through Google Drive for Razorpay payment. So as an online educator, I am selling my courses as well as the course material such as ebooks, PDFs, etc. with the help of Razorpay. So here I have created different payment pages on Razorpay and by using that I am collecting the payments. My objective is that as soon as a student is going to make the payment for the recent digital marketing ebook which I am selling through Razorpay, then automatically the folder of that ebook through my Google Drive should be shared to that student on their email. Now to automate this entire process in such a way that as soon as the student is is going to purchase the book by making the payment on Razorpay payment page then automatically the ebook should be shared through Google Drive as a folder so I will have to set up the connection between Razorpay and Google Drive for that and because they are not directly connected in any way so here I'm going to set up this connection without any coding any programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software that helps us to build the connections between our work applications without any coding or any programming skills to automate all our daily repetitive tasks. Simply with the help of Pabli Connect, today we are going to automate the entire process of sharing folders through Google Drive on Razorpay payments. Let's get started for that. Currently, you can see I am on my home page of Pabli Connect. We can reach over here by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect slash INR in our browser. So after coming over here, you will find two options sign in and sign up for free so in case if you are already an existing user just click on sign in to log into your account but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button it will help you to create a free new account just in two minutes also when you will do that you're going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations so as an existing user currently i'm going to click on sign in this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And now you can see we are on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And to save these workflows, we can also create separate folders like this on our dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, let's click on this create workflow option. Here a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let me provide a name over here. So here I've given the name share Google Drive folder on Razorpay payment. So after giving the name to my workflow, now I'm going to select the folder. You can see I have list of folders over here. Among these folders, the automation which I am going to create is related to digital courses to manage all the digital courses at the same place. So here I'm going to select the same folder automations for digital courses. And now I'm going to directly click on create. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us. The screen contains two extremely important windows. Basically, this is a blank workflow which we have to fill up to complete and set up our automation successfully. So you can see we have trigger and action over here. So what are trigger and action? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now, let's suppose my objective is that every time I'm going to receive a new payment through Razorpay for the digital marketing ebook, then automatically the folder of that ebook from Google Drive should be shared and access should be provided to the student to view the folder. So for that here, I'm going to use Razor Pay and Trigger and Google Drive in my action step. So when we are going to set up the connection between these applications, then we will see that action is going to follow for the trigger commands. 
because when the trigger happens that means when the payment will be received successfully on raise of pay then only google drive folder will be sent to the student otherwise not so after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action let us start creating our automation step by step to start with the process first of all we have to go towards our trigger step and here first of all we have to select the trigger application what will be the trigger application that means by using which application you want to start your workflow every time I want that when the payment will be received successfully on Razor Pay, then my workflow should start. So the application which I want to use for starting the workflow is Razor Pay. So I have selected the trigger application as Razor Pay. Now we have to select the trigger event. That means on the happening of which specific event in Razor Pay you want to capture the response and start your workflow. So I want that when the payment will be captured, then my workflow should start. So I have selected the trigger application and the event. Now we have to set up the connection between Razor Pay and Pabli Connect. To do that, you can see we have already received a webhook URL. And here we have also received some instructions. By following the given instructions, basically we have to insert the webhook URL inside our RazorPay account. As we will do that, then the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for transferring the rate of every new payment which will be captured in RazorPay towards Webly Connect. So let's copy the webhook URL and then I will tell you exactly what you are supposed to do. So first of all, for this, I will take you towards my RazorPay account. And one more thing I have to tell you before moving forward that you can see test mode is given over here on RazorPay. That means I am currently working in test mode. This is a test dashboard of Razor Pay test account but everything will be same in your real account as well so whatever I'm going to show you you have to follow the same steps now from the left side here you can see the option of accounts and settings on your Razor Pay account and after coming on accounts and settings here we can see the option of webhooks which you have to select now you have to click on this add new webhook button you have to enter the details in these fields to create the webhook successfully so first of all let's paste the webhook url which we have copied from public connect over here in this webhook url field the secret and alert email will be left as blank and now here we have to select the active events this is a very important because here you have to select the specific event on the happening of which you want to send the response on this webhook url so you will select the same event which you have selected in your workflow we have selected trigger event as payment captured so we will select the same over here in active events as well payment captured all right now let's click on create webhook as we have done that the webhook is saved successfully so now let's go back towards public connect we can see that it is showing waiting for webhook response we have already set up the connection between razor pay and public connect and now we want that when the payment will be received in razor pay the response should be captured to capture that response so that we can continue our workflow we have to do a test submission and what we have to do in that we have to make the payment on razor pay so i'm going to take you towards my razor pay account i'm going to make a dummy purchase so let's go towards payment pages and over here, these are all the pages I have created for different courses and different course materials. And I am currently selling this, the ultimate guide to digital marketing, the ebook. So I'm going to copy the payment page of this product and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And now with the help of this checkout page of Razorpay, I'm going to quickly make a dummy purchase with some dummy details. You can see that here we have the name of the product which is being purchased. That is the ultimate guide to digital marketing. This is a master ebook. And here we have the description as well. So now here we have the product price as well already entered. Now I'm going to enter the details of the customer. Let's say the student who is purchasing this ebook is new student. The name is new student, just a random name. I'm going to enter a random dummy email as well new student at the rate publicutes.com let's say this is the phone number and here we have the product which we have to select digital marketing ebook it is now i'm going to make the payment and because i'm using a dummy account of razor pay so this is a dummy purchase i'm going to use dummy details only okay so i'm going to make the payment through upi let's say and i'm going to enter the dummy upi id to make the payment successful all right i'm going to verify and pay as the payment is confirmed that means the payment is successful so now i'm going to quickly take you towards public connect we will wait and you can see that the response is instantly captured in this response we have received all the details we have received the upi id through which the payment is received we have other details the status of the payment that is captured then we have the order id the name of the product for which the payment is received digital marketing ebook we have the phone number of the student who has purchased we have their name their email address when we'll scroll down we have some other details as well this means our connection between razor pay and public connect is absolutely successful when you will look closely to the response you will see that we have received all the exact details which we have entered while making the payment same name same email same phone number so now, 
Every time the payment is going to be captured in Razor Pay for any of the product, the response is going to be captured. But do we want to share the folder of Google Drive to everybody who is making the payment for any of the product over here in Razor Pay? Not, not at all. I am setting the connection currently for this ultimate guide to digital marketing ebook, and I want that when the payment will be received through this payment page for this product, then only my workflow should continue, and the folder should be shared. Otherwise, not for every product. For that, we have to apply the filter over here. So let's go towards our action step. We will select our action application as filter. Filter is an amazing feature of Pabli that helps us to set conditions in the workflows according to our requirements. And on the fulfillment of those conditions, then only the workflow is going to continue further after filter. Otherwise. it will get stop over here only so what kind of condition i'm going to apply that only when i'm going to receive the payment for this product the product name is already received over here so when the payment will be received through razor pay for this product then my workflow should continue and the folder of google drive should be shared with the student otherwise not so let's get started for applying the filter here our action event will be filter values let's click on connect and now here we have to select the label the filter type and the value to set up the filter successfully in the label i'm going to use the name of the product and because i'm inserting the name of the product from the previous step i am mapping it so as i have mapped this label it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response automatically it is going to replace okay so when we map the data from the previous step the data become replaceable so every new response is going to make this data replace all right now we are going to enter the filter type we will select the filter type that will be equal to so the name of the product when it will be equal to the same which we have received in the response so i'm going to quickly copy this manually and i'm going to enter it over here by pasting so i've manually pasted over here so it has become static and now it is not going to replace the value has become static it will be same each time with every new response but the label which we have mapped over here is going to replace with every new other response for whichever product the payment will be received the product name will be mapped over here in the label section but because the value is same if it will not match then the workflow will stop over here but in case if it will match the workflow is going to continue automatically now let us quickly check whether the condition is true or not let's click on save and send test request button and currently you can see that the condition is true why because the product for which the payment is received currently is equal to the same which we have entered in the value now let's move forward as the condition is true we want to send the folder so for that now we have to set up the connection between google drive and pabli connect let us select google drive as our action application and let us select the action event what i want i want to share a file or folder by using the id of that so i'm going to select the action event share a file or folder by id let's click on connect before building the connection you can see i am already logged into my google drive account so here we have two options for building this connection add new connection and select existing connection in case if you have already built the connection with google drive earlier you can go with existing connection but i'm going to show you to build a new connection by clicking on this add new connection button now i'm going to go towards sign in with google you can see we have to select the account now because i was already logged into my google drive account so my account is detected i just have to select it the the process of connection has become easy because i was already logged in so you also have to keep in mind that you should log into the applications which you want to connect with pabli connect before setting up the connection okay then it is going to make the connection process easier and simple now pabli connect is asking us for the permission to access our google drive and because our data is 100% safe with pabli connect so fearlessly we are going to click on allow to provide this access and you can see that our authorization has become successful so the connection between google drive and pabli connect is successfully built now we just have to enter the details in these fields so let's start with the file or folder id which folder you want to send so i'm going to take you towards google drive because i'm selling this course ebook the ultimate guide to digital marketing i have created the folder separately the ultimate guide to digital marketing i want to send this so now i'm going to go towards pabli connect and from the drop down i'm going to select the same okay so the id is selected and because i've selected it from the drop down it is going to be same each time now here we have to provide the email address to whom we want to provide the access of this folder so i have received the email address of the person who has purchased this course ebook and here i'm going to directly map that as i've told you mapping makes the data dynamic so when i'm going to map this email it has become dynamic and now it is going to automatically get replaced with every new response so when we have mapped this email every time with a new purchase and raise or pay this email is going to replace now we have to select the role that what role you want to provide to this person to whom you're giving the access of the folder i just want the person to view the folder so that they can just view the ebook and do not edit and comment so i'm going to give the role as can view now here it is saying whether to send a notification email so i have selected true over here now let's click on save and send test request button 
as we have done that we have received the response it is saying that the drive permission is provided we have the id so now i'm going to go towards the email account of this particular person i will open it and we will see whether on this email the ebook is received or not as a folder and yes we can see that here we have received the folder so when the student is going to open the folder they are going to redirect it towards a google drive folder they have to first of all verify and then they will be able to access it so here this means that our connection between grazer pay and google drive is absolutely successful and now on every payment which will be captured through grazer pay if the payment will be for the specific folder then automatically that folder is going to be sent through google drive to the purchaser now once we have set up this connection we are going to test it once again whether the whether the folders are being sent to other people or not so i'm going to go back towards razor pay once again i'm going to copy the url of this payment page I'm, and i'm going to purchase it so let's say this time the name is smart customer let's say the email is smart customer 38 at the rate pabblitudes.com let's say this is the phone number and the product is selected quickly i'm going to make the purchase so the payment is successful now i'm going to take you back towards the email of that person and yes here we can see that the folder is received to this user okay this means our workflow is running absolutely fine so you can also very easily create this amazing automation to manage your online business effortlessly and do not have to use any kind of coding and programming skills for that just follow the same steps as i have shown you i hope the video is clear to you also it is helpful for your business thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can email us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any doubt you can write us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask about the pricing you can visit this website given over here do not forget to share our videos like our video and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations